This video is how to use TronLink Wallet, which is one of the main wallets to use the Tron network. So I'll show you how to get set up with the wallet, how to send and receive coins, and then how to use some of the applications on Tron. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. Firstly, we'll create a new wallet with the application. You can see mine has already been created here, but if you've just downloaded the app, it should bring you to this page. So you can press create wallet, and then we can go through and it's gonna ask you to name the wallet. You can name it anything you want and then set a password. This is just for the app. So if you delete the app and then reload the wallet again, this password won't exist. It's just app specific. So you can enter that if you want. And then right here, it says backup mnemonic. This is actually the wallet that it's creating for you. So this is 12 words and this is the wallet. So if you delete the app and you need to reload your wallet elsewhere, you can reload it by downloading the app again, press restore wallet, and then enter these 12 words. So these 12 words are your wallet. You can use them to recover the app anywhere else. If you lose them and delete the app, you'll never get your crypto back because it's on the blockchain and you can't recover the wallet with your, with your uh, seed phrase, which this thing is. So if anyone else has this, that means they have access to reload your wallet and spend all your coins. So it's really important that you write this down properly, keep it safe, and if you need to use it again, you need access to it. And don't let anyone else have it. So make sure that you know these words, written them down, and it's gonna test you. So the next page, it's gonna ask you to input some of the words in the correct order uh, to test you that you've written it down correctly. And then from here, it says wallet created. You can press backup now, and you can just uh, go through the backup process. It's going to confirm that you've backed up the wallet and those 12 words. So that is the wallet created and make sure you back up the seed phrase and keep it somewhere safe. Once you've created your main wallet with your seed phrase, you can actually add a different accounts into the app. You're using the same wallet, so that's the main wallet with the seed phrase, but you can add one, two, three or more accounts with different wallet addresses, and that can split up assets across those addresses if you want, but they all get recovered with the same seed phrase that you've just got. So this is the main page of the wallet, and this is just my main account right here. You can see I've got no Tron or TRX tokens in here, and then I've got my wallet address right here. I'll explain energy and bandwidth in a second, and then you can see the assets in this wallet. Up in the top right-hand corner, you can see this kind of plus icon here, so I'll press that. You can generate wallet, and that creates a new account linked to the seed phrase. That's our main wallet, is the seed phrase, but a new account would be a new wallet address with new token balances, but it's linked to the same seed phrase that you've got. So if you recover the wallet somewhere else, you can recover, recover account one and account two. You can also import a different wallet here if you have it, so that you can see all of the different wallets and accounts that you have. You compare a hardware device like Ledger, uh, you compare a cold wallet, and then you can create a watch only wallet. So if you know the public address of the Tron account that you wanna watch, you can actually just click this, paste in the public address, and then you can see all the token balances of that address. But of course, because you don't have the seed phrase, you won't be able to control that wallet. It's just watch only. So these are the options if you have some other wallets, you compare them or generate wallet creates new accounts that are linked to the seed phrase that we just generated. Before using the wallet, we have to know how the Tron blockchain charges us transaction fees because it's slightly different depending on which type of token that you want to send around. So it essentially splits up transaction fees into two groups, the first group and the second group. The first group is known as TRC10 tokens. These are native tokens issued on the blockchain. The native coin TRX of Tron, this is a TRC10 token. Now the other type of token is known as TRC20. These are smart contracts built on top of the blockchain. And for example, USDT is a TRC20 token. So when we wanna send around different tokens, we have to pay for the transaction fees in either the first type or the second type. The first type is known as bandwidth. The second type is known as energy. As long as we have bandwidth and energy in our wallet, we can send transactions no problem. In fact, the first type here, bandwidth, we actually get 600 bandwidth per day for free given to us by the blockchain. One transaction is around about 300 bandwidth. So that means we get two free transactions per day for something like TRX. So you can send it out of the wallet twice. You actually don't pay anything at all, it's free. So that's great. If we want to interact with smart contracts like USDT, 
then we pay transaction fees in energy. Now we don't get any free energy given to us by the chain. That's zero. And so we have to buy that energy uh, in order to send the transaction. Now, if you don't have any energy in your wallet, then what the blockchain does is it uses this coin TRX. It uses a, you know, an amount of that, whatever that may be. It buys the energy and it sends the USDT or the other tokens. That's fine, but it is a more expensive way of doing things. We can actually buy energy or rent it from our wallet, which I'll show you in this video. We can get energy into our wallet and that actually reduces the cost of sending these tokens around significantly. So I'll show you how to do that in this video, but that's the two ways of paying for transactions. If you don't go through this step, you can still send transactions, no problem. It's just slightly more expensive. Now we'll look at receiving some TRX tokens into our wallet so we can use the blockchain. Up at the top, you should see your wallet address. It starts with T. So you can copy this. And then from here, we're going to go over to an exchange where we can buy the tokens and then withdraw them into our wallet. I've already bought the tokens. So I'm using Binance here, but most uh, big exchanges will let you buy a TRX and withdraw it. OKX, Bybit, Binance many others as well, right? So we're going to buy some TRX. Now, if you don't know how to do that or you don't have an exchange, I'll leave links below to videos that go through getting set up on Binance, Bybit, OKX. I'll also leave links to deposit bonuses on those exchanges as well. If you are a new user, you can get deposit and trading bonuses. You can check the details via the links below uh, if it's available in your region or not. From here, TRX. So I've bought the TRX token. So I'm going to click this. I have a balance. So I'm going to withdraw and then send via crypto network. Every single exchange is the same. Once you have the token, you press withdraw via crypto network. So you can paste in your address. So I'm gonna do that now. That's the one I copied from my wallet. You see the network down here. I'm gonna choose Tron TRC20. That's fine. It's actually not TRC20, but that doesn't matter. Tron TRC20 is the blockchain we wanna use. On the Tron network, that's gonna cost me about 11 cents. So that's fine. And then I'm going to put an amount that I want to withdraw. So I'm withdrawing it to my wallet address over the Tron network. It's going to give you that option. Withdraw the amount that you want. That's going to come into your wallet. Those tokens have been withdrawn from my centralized exchange. They've now hit my wallet. As you can see, I've got a balance now. So what you may want to do is stake TRX tokens. If you stake your TRX tokens, you can actually accumulate bandwidth or energy to pay for transactions. So I'll show you how to do this. You can click on energy or bandwidth up at the top here, but you can just press stake as well. The icon here. So I'll press stake. Then it's going to ask me, how do I want to stake? So I'm going to press stake for resources and rewards. You can see here that I can actually choose how much TRX I stake to earn extra energy or bandwidth every day. So I've got an amount of TRX. I can say I'll stake 50% of my TRX. We can see here that the estimate is that I get around 2,751 energy per day for staking my TRX. I can press stake right now at the bottom. And what happens is my TRX tokens are locked up in the staking contract. I think there's a 14 day, yeah, 14 day unstaking period if you want to unstake. So you're locking them up for at least 14 days. And then if you want to unstake, it's 14 days. However, you can see that your wallet earns energy for staking that uh, TRX. That may be something you want to do so you get free transactions because when you pay with energy, that's just payment with energy. You're not paying any tokens out. And so if you're staking, you're getting basically free transactions per day. If you uh, up it, you can see you get more energy per day. Now, as you can see, it says maybe insufficient for one transfer. So the amount of TRX that you have to stake in order to get enough energy for at least one transaction may be quite a lot. And so if you don't want to do that, or if you don't have the amount of TRX, then there's another way to do this. And I'll show you that in a second. But for bandwidth as well, if you want bandwidth, you can go ahead and stake some amount, right? And then you get more bandwidth per day. That's sending around the TRC10 tokens. Now, again, your wallet gets 600 per day for free anyway. So you may want to concentrate on energy if you're sending around stable coins or using applications. So in any case, choose the amount that you want to stake and lock up, press stake down at the bottom. That will be a transaction on the blockchain. Uh, so you'll probably pay some bandwidth for that, but that doesn't matter. And then you'll be staking the TRX tokens. You have a 14 day lockup, but whatever is staked 
it will be earning either bandwidth or energy, and you can actually split up your stake between them as well. If you want to use the wallet to send around stable coins or interact with applications, like I said, we need energy. So if you don't want to stake large amounts of TRX to get that energy, what we can do is actually rent it. This allows us to get lots of energy without locking up lots of TRX. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I've got a small amount of TRX here, as you can see, around $50 worth. So I'm going to go to Discover. These are applications. Down here it says Just Lend DAO Energy Rental. So if you're looking to use applications or you're looking to send some stable coins around, then we can actually rent this energy and pay for transactions with that. And we don't have to lock up too much TRX. We're connecting to a DAP here. So you should see your wallet address at the top. That means we're connected. And then down here, what we're going to do is rent energy. So we're paying a small amount of TRX tokens to get 300,000 energy per day. And that's going to let us uh, pay for smart contract transactions and interact with applications. So I'm going to rent this for one day, as you can see here, so just one. So I'm renting 300,000 energy per day, and I'm renting for one day. The total prepayment in TRX tokens is 81. So that's not a lot to get this much energy to use applications. If you don't do this, you buy the energy in the transaction and it becomes a lot more expensive. So this is a way to get much cheaper transactions. Down here, I'm going to press rent now and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. Because I'm using the DAP browser, it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to pre uh, press safe mode, continue. That will sign the transaction. You can see all the details here. Uh, I have a fee right here. So I'll press confirm and then put my password in. That transaction has been confirmed like you can see here. So what should be happening now is that I'm actually renting an amount of energy and I can use that to pay for transactions in dApps that I want to use. Coming back to the main page of my wallet, I've rented that energy now. Now my wallet has 300,000 energy that I can use to pay for transactions. I've locked up some of my TRX as a deposit and I've also paid to rent some of this energy, but it's a super low fee. I now have 300,000 to pay for transactions. You can see that right here. You can also see my bandwidth has gone down because I sent TRX, which means I used some bandwidth and paid for that transaction with bandwidth. And that was actually free because I paid with bandwidth and not TRX. So that should explain energy and bandwidth here. As long as you have these in your wallet, you can pay for transactions. Really, really important as well is that if you go back to Discover and then Energy Rental, when you're done paying for transactions, if you're renting energy, make sure that you give back the rental. The app now recognizes that our wallet is renting energy. So you can rent more if you want, go through with another transaction. You can extend the rental duration here up at the top or down here, it should say end now. You can see that once you're done renting the energy for that day, end the rental. Otherwise, you may be charged uh, more transaction fees and also the deposit that you've made may get taken away to pay for the transaction fees. So if you don't end the renting, you re-rent every day, right? Which you may not want. So if you're done with your transactions, end the rental, press end now. You can see that it will uh, deduct the energy and it will return this amount of TRX because that's my deposit. Now I don't want that returned, but just make sure that you're ending your rental. If you are renting, do your transactions, end the rental, get that done, and then go back to normal. If you want to receive different types of tokens into your wallet on the Tron blockchain, as long as they're supported, you can do that. So if you want to receive some USDT into your wallet from your exchange, press USDT, press receive down at the bottom. This is the wallet address for USDT. You'll notice that it is the exact same wallet address as every other token in your wallet. So your wallet address is the same no matter what token that you use. So I'm going to copy this. That's my address for USDT. I'm going to go over to Binance. What I'm going to do is actually search for USDT right here. Withdraw via crypto network. It's the same for every exchange. Press your uh, address in here. And then it says network. Where do you want to send it over? Well, it's Tron TRC20. That's the network. So click that. Then press the amount of USDT that you want to uh, withdraw from your exchange. That's going to your Tron wallet address as well. It's the exact same address as every other token. 
We can also swap tokens directly within TronLink as well. So if you're looking to swap TRX into US dollar tether or the other way around, you can do it right here. So we'll press markets down at the bottom and choose the coins that you want to trade. So on the left hand side is the coin that you're selling. The right hand side is the coin that you're buying. You can click a list here. It's going to give you a list of tokens that you have in your wallet that you can go ahead and trade. So for me, it's just TRX. So I'm going to choose an amount of TRX that I want to sell right here. And it's going to work out the exchange rate, how many USDT I'm going to get, 5.74, so almost $6. You can see the exchange rate, the fee, and the price impact. So I'm going to instant swap, and that should go through as a swap. So once that's done, I press confirm. You can see that I'm actually using some bandwidth here. So press confirm, enter my uh, password. That submitted and succeeded already. So what I should have now is a balance of USDT in my wallet. You can also see that my energy has been destroyed. I used that energy to pay for the transaction. If you want to send coins out of your wallet, you just need a Tron address to send them to. If you're sending to another Tron wallet, then that's going to accept all the tokens on the Tron blockchain. If you're sending into an exchange, you just have to make sure that the centralized exchange accepts the coin or the token that you want to send in. So what we're going to do is go over to Binance and we want to send Tether back into Binance to cash out. So I'm going to go to USDT, which is the token that I want to send. I'm going to press deposit here. And then you can see right here that Binance does accept deposits of USDT on the Tron blockchain. So that's good for me because that's the one I have to use because my assets are on the Tron blockchain. So I'm going to click Tron TRC20. This is my wallet address for Binance. So I'm going to copy this. We'll go back over to our wallet and which token do you want to send USDT? So I'll click USDT, click send down at the bottom left. It says, where do you want to send it? So I'm going to paste in the wallet address. And next, how much do you want to send? I'm going to press the max in here and press send down at the bottom. That will go through with the transaction. It's sending USDT over the Tron blockchain. We know that Binance accepts that, so that's fine. So press send and you're actually going to pay for the transaction with energy because it's a smart contract token. So we need energy to actually send that transaction. If we don't have any energy in our wallet, we'll have to buy it with the transaction, which means spending some TRX. If you want to send TRX tokens from your wallet to another wallet, that's going to require bandwidth, like I said. So if you click TRX, press send down at the bottom left, paste in the wallet address that you want to send to, press next, press an amount you want to send. Down at the bottom here, it says consume bandwidth. So it's the bandwidth that's getting used to send that token. That can go into a centralized exchange as long as they accept this token or any other Tron wallet that's on the Tron blockchain. I'll leave some other helpful videos down in the description and the deposit bonuses to the exchanges I use down there as well. I'm James, it's my Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.